Good evening from South Cambridge here in the UK on day six of Starlink ownership and I still have my little Starlink router sat beside me. Today I'm going to cover performance, the future and I'm also going to touch on something unusual which you may or may not be able to help me with. So first of all let's touch on performance. Now this is a video that I did not think I'd be bringing to you so soon. How would I rate performance today? Quite simply outstanding. It has been night and day. So from the last few days where it's been dropouts during Zoom calls and voice calls, it's been so solid today. And I thought it was just me. But then I went on to some of the Facebook groups that I'm part of, of Starlink ownership, and everybody's reporting the same thing. It's almost like they flipped a switch to say, you will work, and it has worked. I've been really impressed today by the performance of this broadband. The download is so fast compared to what I had. I mean, it was 30 meg down, now it's 140 or something ridiculous. My upload is more than my download was. So all of a sudden, I'm, I don't want to champion it too soon because I feel like if I start shouting about it, it's going to fail. So I'm going to say, I'm very impressed. So the future of Starlink is really interesting, especially here in the UK where they're talking about various options for connecting people, especially in the Scottish Highlands and hard to reach areas and Cambridge was one of those hard to reach areas and in this news article it says that there's half a million homes in this area that have poor broadband and they're going to roll out fiber to premises but Starlink has been headlined as a product that the UK government are considering for future connectivity for its residents and that's really impressive and that gives me more confidence in being a beta tester. I, I mean, it feels like in a weird way that we're testing something that's potentially gonna be part of the future in a, in a good way. I mean, Elon Musk wants to build a city on Mars and this is the way to fund it. I mean, it makes sense, right? Connect everybody up, build a city on Mars and then move there. Okay. And lastly, since it's a Saturday night, I thought I'd share this with you. On my statistics, I keep getting obstructions. Now, my dish is, it's like Mary Poppins coming out of a chimney. It's sitting up there, it's, it's fine, and there's nothing it can see apart from space and satellites and clouds and all the other wonderful things that are supposed to be in the sky. But I keep getting these obstructions, and I just wonder, I just wonder, is it? pigeons and I have a lot of pigeons mating on my land and I it, it disturbs me but not as much as worms mating now this is disgusting so there you have it Starlink has been impressive today it's really changed it's changed my opinion by using it and using the uploads and downloads and stability and, and everything that I want to do feels like it's actually workable. I know there's a long way to go. There's many ups and downs. I get that. I feel excited to be part of this program, which is potentially the connectivity of this planet for the future. So whatever you're doing on this Saturday, have a good one. And I will catch you later.